Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to How to Train Your Gavin. I'm just holding this like a baby, quite honestly. This is, this is my new baby. She's called Patrice. <laughs> this is gonna be a pretty special vlog and it is gonna be part of this incredible Kingdom Hearts fan run community event called March Caprice, which I will talk about in just a second. But first I wanted to talk about what I'm actually doing in this vlog. What is the goal? What is the point? Okay, I'm a huge Kingdom Hearts fan. So this vlog is essentially just gonna be all Kingdom Hearts related, okay? So if you love Kingdom Hearts, please let me know in the comments. Let me know everything because obviously part of booktube, not a lot of people talk about Kingdom Hearts, if at all. So I always love it when I hear people in the comments talk about Kingdom Hearts and what it means to them. So let me know. Let me know your journey with Kingdom Hearts. How did you find it? How did you discover it? So for me, it was 2006. I was 14 and a friend came into school with the Kingdom Hearts 2 official strategy guide. And I just remember seeing it and seeing Disney characters and oh, I'm a huge fan of Disney, okay? I love Disney so much. And it's actually why I started my channel back in 2006. Although none of those videos are up anymore, sorry. <laughs> and I just remember flicking through it. And it was when I got to the, like the Port Royal Pirates of the Caribbean world. And I saw the kind of story of it and I saw the pictures of it. I was like, oh my God, I need to play this game right now. Because in 2006, I was obsessed with Pirates of the Caribbean. So that is what got me to begin playing Kingdom Hearts. And I've never looked back since. It has, uh, it has kind of ruined my life since, quite honestly. The amount of times I've waited for games and just the... Oh, it, it's a long, long, long story, essentially. A long story, lots of different games have come out. It's been hit and miss. It's been a roller coaster being a Kingdom Hearts fan. It's been a soul sucker, but in the best way possible. If you do not know what Kingdom Hearts is, Kingdom Hearts is essentially a video game series that follows Sora, although in the main games that follow Sora, there are loads of different other characters, but I'm not gonna get into any of that. We start off by following Sora and his friends. They live on Destiny Islands, but then one day they all get separated and Sora has to team up with Donald Duck and Goofy, which sounds so ridiculous. Honestly, he said it out loud, it's ridiculous, but honestly, it's the best thing ever. And Sora goes on a journey to find them. He is a Keyblade wielder. There is actually a Keyblade on the book too. That's what a Keyblade looks like. But he is a Keyblade wielder, which means he can fight against the Heartless. And essentially, there's just like loads of stuff going on. You get to visit loads of different Disney worlds. And it's just incredible, okay? It's like my favorite video game series of all time. And yeah, that is essentially how I got into it. And I've just been obsessed ever since. Honestly, like, I don't talk about it much on my channel, but I'm always watching like Kingdom Hearts videos or watching Kingdom Hearts streamers or watching like Kingdom Hearts related video essays and stuff. Obviously, it's not really book related, so I don't really talk about it. However, there. That's about change. That is about change with well, this monster. Very heavy. This is just the box inside. Oh, you do get this lovely kind of design. There is art prints in this little thing too. But what I'm going to be doing is reading from this. This has 1,215 pages. This is something that I want to try and read this week. Like all of it. All of it I want to read. But I don't know if that's going to be possible. Hopefully it is. Especially when you say the font and writing and stuff, I will show you the inside of this. But essentially you open it up and wow, it's just stunning. It is like absolutely stunning. There are, well, I'm gonna go through it now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten books in here because there have been like 10 games that have been released on different platforms. Some with the very earliest Kingdom Hearts and up to the most recent Kingdom Hearts 3. Yep, 1,215 pages this book has. But you know what? It is filled with lots of gorgeous, gorgeous illustrations too. Lots of full page spreads or double page spreads of just random, random images and little stories too. The only thing is though, it has columns and tiny text. I, I don't know how I'm actually gonna sit there and read this, especially 1,200 pages of it. It's probably gonna go pretty quickly because the chapters seem quite short and you do go to different places in each chapter. But what I'm essentially gonna do is I'm gonna read each one, tick off which ones I've read and what I get up to, see how many I can read in one week. I mean, hopefully I can read it all, but you know, I do work, I do have YouTube and Patreon and everything else that I have to do on top of that. So it might not be possible, but it's gonna be a journey to find out, stick around. So another reason why I am actually doing this is because I'm gonna be premiering this video during March Caprice. And March Caprice is a virtual gathering of fans of the Kingdom Hearts game series. Its goal is to showcase and support the incredible hard work, projects and talents of the community through the uniting force of the series. So essentially they are showcasing different creators during the weekend, well the final weekend of March, to celebrate the 20th anniversary of Kingdom Hearts. Because yes, oh my god, it's been 20 freaking years since the first Kingdom Hearts game came out. Wow. And this fan run event is just essentially a love letter to the series. And I submitted an idea for it and I got approved. So thank you so much to the team at March Caprice for doing that. 
I'm not really like a part of the Kingdom Hearts community like presently like I'm always either in the comments or I'm watching videos and I do have a lot of favorite Kingdom Hearts content creators but yeah it's just gonna be a really fun event there are gonna be lots of other videos premiering and I will leave a link to a playlist as well by March Caprice or like the YouTube channel so that you can check out other videos that are gonna be premiering during this time too so don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoy it and subscribe if you haven't already I do reading challenges like this all the time I read all of the Goosebumps books in one month I read all of Animorphs in three weeks I'm not mentally stable <laughs> so yeah that is the plan I do want to try and play some Kingdom Hearts this week too it's been a while since I've just sat down and played it I've just been far too busy doing book stuff so it'll be nice to just chill and do some Kingdom Hearts related stuff so yeah I'm gonna continue drinking my coffee start this hopefully finish the first book today the Kingdom Hearts one but I don't know I just don't know if that's gonna be possible I just dropped it so I've got to be more careful with this as well so I'm gonna put that down I'm gonna put it down and yeah let the vlog begin this is all I've read so far. <laughs> I did manage to finish the first Kingdom Hearts book during the live show with my patrons and start the second book, Chain of Memories. And I mean, it's like not bad or anything. It's, it was bringing all of the memories back, you know what I mean? You would have to be, I think, a fan of the video games and know them pretty well to like really, I guess, enjoy this the, the novels because there is quite a lot cut out. I wasn't surprised though because it kept to a lot of the important storylines. So I'm not surprised they cut some worlds out. So like we didn't go to 100 Acre Wood, Olympus Coliseum, Halloween Town or Atlantica. We didn't see any of those, which meant, and it was actually kind of funny to see how they changed other scenes up. So there is a scene where like the Disney villains are talking in, I think it's Villains Vale, and they are talking about Sora about collecting the princesses of heart and you're supposed to really see Ursula and Oogie Boogie and Hades there but they're not in the book at all because we don't ever visit those worlds so I mean it was interesting it was interesting to see how they they bent it and even though you do have a lot of emissions it kept to the important stuff like it's nice to refresh my memory about the important storylines and the things that I need to remember moving forward to like the next book, for instance. So honestly, this book is so great at, well, I guess just focusing on making the storyline readable, you know, like understandable because it is a little bit of a hard story to follow sometimes. But the first Kingdom Hearts book, it was good. I mean, it wasn't like fantastically written or anything. It wasn't detailed. However, there were moments, like say Traverse Town. So when Sora first goes to Traverse Town, oh yeah, it starts with, the town always greeted everyone warmly. And you do get that sense of, yeah, warmth from Traverse Town. And it's one of my favorite worlds ever in Kingdom Hearts. And just the vibe, the aesthetic, how welcoming it is. And you do still feel that in the, the book, even though it's not that detailed but no i'm just enjoying myself i'm sitting there reading it with a big smile on my face like eek i'm back in the kingdom hearts world you know so i do actually have the manga for the first kingdom hearts i might read that i don't want to get through all of this so i want to see if i can read the first kingdom hearts manga and see how that compares with it as well it might just be exactly the same i don't know if it's the same author i do own the manga it's in my other room i will get it and see if it is the same person who who wrote that and see how much of the story that emits as well or adds to i don't know it could be totally different but i am enjoying it it is a fun little side thing just bringing back all the kingdom hearts memories okay it's making me desperate to play the games again like, I can't, I don't have the time right now, but it's making me desperate to pick up the controller and get back to playing. Oh God, I love Kingdom Hearts so much. Ugh. So Chin Chin, I will read the first Kingdom Hearts manga, let you know how that is, say how much more of this book I can read, say what game slash novelization I get to, and yeah, just live my Kingdom Hearts life. <laughs> I mean, I'm currently on sprints. I'm currently on sprints. You can see it on the telly. Um, I mean, probably see make yourself turn my camera away, but, uh, I'm having a little bit of a Kingdom Hearts crisis. I've only read another book from this one. I've read the Chain of Memories one and like, okay, so I really do think that being a Kingdom Hearts fan, I just automatically love the, the novels in this, but they're not great. <laughs> I mean, they're not amazing, but I just reading them reminds me of playing them. And that's good, that works in its favor. However, it just, it doesn't mesh as a novel. 
if you know what I mean. Like there are lots of things that are omitted and of course it has to be, it is adapted from a video game and one of the things about Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories though is the combat and the combat uses cards and I don't think it translates that well into the novel. So in the novel, Sora, Donald, Goofy, I mean, it just in Chain of Memories in general, Sora, Donald, Goofy, they arrive at Castle Oblivion and they go inside, they start losing their memories and they go through each level, each floor of this castle and each floor is a different world that they visited in the first game, apart from Deep Jungle because, you know, copyright. I mean, it's not my favourite game, nowhere near, but it's still like a decent time, or at least from what I remember. But reading it instead of playing it makes it less enjoyable. However, these novels are so good, so good at recapping you on the story, the, the important story, and it's doing a bang up job of doing that. However, it doesn't hold a candle to the manga. I finished both volumes of the Kingdom Hearts Final Mix manga, and oh my lord, I much prefer the manga, like so, so much. So I think I'm gonna leave it there with the novels. I don't think I can, just because of how big this is, I might try and get the separate editions, like the single volumes of the novels, and just to see how that goes. Just because I think having this big, huge thing, it is really just meant to be looked at rather than actually read. It is so hard to read with the columns, with the tiny text. I'm just struggling. I'm struggling to keep paying attention. And I think if it was just a single volume, single books, and I could just do a bit of this instead of a bit of that, you know, like it's too, too heavy, then I might enjoy it more. But still, it's very basic. It's very surface level. You get the main chunk of the story without really the detail and the character of the games. However, <laughs> the mangas are fantastic. Mind you, I've only read Kingdom Hearts Final Mix Volume 1 and 2, which is the complete Kingdom Hearts. Oh my god, I loved it so much. And this added little elements to it as well. I mean, it omitted still Halloween Town, still omitted that, which was a bit sad, but it did have more worlds than the novel did. So we had Atlantica, we had... Did we go to Agrabah in the novel. I can't remember now. I don't think we did, did we? We skipped a lot. I don't even think we went to Monstro, but we're doing this. Honestly, it's been a while now since I've read the first novel and my memory's not the best, but this was just so good. And I love the little touches of comedy. Like the characters do have more of a personality than they do in the video games, which is bizarre. But like you do see, I mean, seeing cutscenes for the video game series, it's quite far back. Uh, sometimes, or you're just pressing X on the dialogue box and, you know, moving it along. So you don't really get to see character faces, unless it's like a, a cinematic cutscene almost, but like when it's just normal click the button to skip the box, you don't really get character emotion. But in the manga, oh my gosh, it's fantastic. And one thing that just made me absolutely laugh, do you know in Travis, oh my god, I just found it. You know in Travis Town when Sora, Donald and Goofy meet for the first time, they fight the Heartless, and then they say that Sora can join them on the gummy ship. And they say, well, you can't have a sad face. You've got to smile because the ship runs on smiles kind of thing. It's so cheesy, but I love it. And just <laughs> Sora's face is hilarious. I absolutely love it. Not even just that, but there's like added dialogue between like Sora and Donald that really does amp up their kind of tense friendship and makes that more funny too. And just saying it visually is just leaps and bounds better than the novels because, again, you don't really get to say much in the novels. There's not really that much description. However, when you actually get to see it, like, illustrated by uh, Shiro Amano, fantastic, absolutely fantastic. And I like as well how the battles and things, like, obviously, in the Kingdom Hearts games, you're battling Heartless, like, constantly. It's literally, like, 75 to 80% of the game. And obviously, that would be so boring to say it over and over and over again in the manga. So a lot of that's, like, cut out. But every now and then, you do get a little battle scene. And it can be quite funny. Or it really fits in with this. I mean, you don't even see the battle with Maleficent in this. Riku just unlocks her heart of the darkness and she disappears. So you don't really fight Dragon Maleficent or anything. And that's fine. Oh, there was another example. I should really write stuff down. I never write stuff down. All right, like, so say with the trick master in Wonderland, you have like the treasure cat giving Sora 
magic and Taken used freeze against it and that's pretty much it so it's not really like a battle or anything but it's Sora learning magic for the first time and that's so exciting and it's so good and it's just like his character progression he's learning for the first time and obviously you can't just like keep hitting the trick master with his keyblade for like a dozen pages you know I like the small touches to like battle sequences to things like that, to the story, how it's also still condensed from the game. We don't see everything from the game still, but we do get, again, the most important things. I will say though, the final battle with Ansem was far too quick and easy. I thought maybe that could have done with its own little section, but it didn't. So that was a little bit disappointing. I really do love like the kingdom bites, like they're just very small comic strips, just <laughs> doing something like really, silly or bizarre like within the world just to give it even more character and to give like secondary characters character you know what I mean I mean we have a day in the life of Captain Hook and literally he's just polishing his hook and you don't see things like that in the game and it's just hilarious it adds to it farewell gift from Cloud to Sora in Olympus Coliseum just like this tiny little scene that just on paper looks hilarious <laughs> even just at the end of Kingdom Hearts 1 like say come on out Genie when Genie has let Sora take the lamp so that he can summon Genie anytime whenever he needs him and then Sora does finally need him Sora wants Genie to open a jar of rock seaweed that's what he summoned Genie for like you know just like little bizarre silly hilarious things like Kingdom Hearts is really not to be taken that seriously it is one of the most fun things ever so that's hilarious However, where am I taking this reading block now? I do not know because I don't own any of the other mangas. I really want to. So I think I'm going to try and play the games, but I don't know how to set it up so that you can see me play them. Like, it's going to be interesting because, again, I can't set up Twitch. For some reason, the OBS or whatever doesn't really work that well on my Mac. And yes, I have a Mac and that's probably why. But it does work for other people. I'm just going to, I want to try. I want to try my best to see if I can try and set it up so that I've got some footage of me playing the game because... Look, I'm not saying I'm the best at playing Kingdom Hearts, but I'm there for a good time, okay? And it's still one of my favourite games ever. So I don't want to try and replay the start of it. Let's see, let's see. I have the heat on and I'm sweating. I need to turn it off. I needed to turn it off like an hour ago, but now I'm actually sweating my tits off. I need to do that and go back to doing some more Kingdom Hearts stuff because I'm just loving just making Kingdom Hearts my entire identity again. Honestly, 2006 Gav would be proud. Right, you're gonna see how much of a noob I am, but I managed to get the capture card to work on my MacBook. So the capture card works, I can see it on my Mac, but I can't get OBS and all of that running. So what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna record on the MacBook and I have the camera here just recording normally and I'm gonna have to try and blend the two together. So I'm gonna play the start of Kingdom Hearts. Cannot wait, but this is such an awkward way of doing it. And I don't know how this is going to be like in editing. It's probably going to be a nightmare. So we're going to see how it goes. We're going to see how it goes. We're going to see me start to play Kingdom Hearts. Oh, oh my God. I haven't played it in so long as well. So I might be absolutely shite. So yeah, this is how I'm going to have to do it. I have to get my little face, put it on and see how that goes. Oh my God. I'm so excited. I don't know what it's like with copyright though. Like, is there... There is copyright on the songs, right? So if I put in the YouTube video, I'm going to get demonetized on that video. I don't care. I don't care. Let's just play it anyway. Ah! I'm starting it. I'm starting it. You're probably going to say just like how much of an actual fanboy I am. I don't even know how this like angle looks. I don't know if it looks any good. <sighs> God, I just love the menu too. The menu is so good. I wish I could broadcast this live on Twitch. I really do. I would love to be able to do this with everyone. Okay. Let's click on Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. Let's do it. Three, two, one, go. Oh, wait, I thought I would do the thing. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Oh, wait, hang on. Another menu comes up, doesn't it? Yeah, another menu comes up, and then that's when I do the big go. Okay. Okay. New game. Just normal Final Mix. Three, two, one. No. Auto. Yeah, auto. Three. Two, one, go. No, okay, okay, this is this is it, okay. Three, two, one, go. Yes, that's the one. God, I love this game so much.
I haven't yet played this on the PlayStation 5 either yet, so this will be interesting. Oh my god, chills, chills. Oh, step four, can you do it? Yes, I can. God, I remember when I was younger, I could not do this part, it was too hard. Oh god, I'm getting that emotional, my nose is running. It's running. I don't know why all of a sudden my nose is just starting to go like, bitch, focus on me instead. The power of the warrior, invincible courage, a sword of terrible destruction. Is this the power you seek? I almost always go for, for that one, yeah. I'm a cliche, what can I say? Sometimes I go for the shield because that levels you up quicker, I think it was. Or was it like more HP? It was more HP, I think. Oh no, I don't want to give up the power of the Cartier. No, stop it. I would rather give up the power of magic because like, let's be honest, I'm not using it all that much. I mean, I do for Kier and stuff, but. Cinderella. Landing right on our coochie. Gain the power to fight. Come on then. Bring it on, bitches. Use this power to protect yourself and others. I'm protect look, I'm here I'm here for myself and no one else. Yeah. Fuck you. Blow. 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 Oh. That's not the person I wanted to go for. Look, this is the start of my no-hit run. Bear in mind, I'm probably only going to get up to Traverse Town in this video. Oh, it's just bringing back so many memories! I love it! Bye, Sora. Oh, oh, come on, push it, push it, push it, push it, bitch. Oh, come on. There we go. Ah, we're on Destiny Island. Oh, Lord, this. Don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. You know what, this is always quite a hard part for me because I never really know which options to pick for them. So you talk to each of them and you have to answer a question. Why are you so afraid of getting old, being different, being indecisive? At the minute it's getting old because I am turning 30 in less than two months. So it's getting old, I'm afraid. It's true. The older I get, the closer I am to death. What's more important to you? Being number one, friendship, my prized possessions. Friendship, always. Is friendship such a big deal? Do you want me to push you off that balcony? What do you want out of life? To see rare sights, to grow my horizons to be strong. To see rare sights, I mean, of course, like, you want to visit the world. You want to see all of the stuff that the world has to offer. Give me the time of day when my adventure begins. When? At dawn. Okay, it starts at dawn. As long as the sun is shining, your journey should be a pleasant one. Sounds good. Does sound good. The day you will open the door is both far off and very near. Oh, ominous. Honestly, the score of Kingdom Hearts slaps. Jump! Haha! <laughs> Didn't know I would do that, did ya? <laughs> oh, I saw you coming a mile off, bitch. Oh, oh, I finally got hit. Let's start again from the beginning. Yay, I leveled up, yay! Yeah, show me them stairs. I see this game is just so magical. I love it so much. I don't need any help. It feels a bit weird controlling this right now. It might have something to do with the computer. Of course, you get to light the greater your shadow becomes. Ah, I'm sure this is it. This is when the big heartless comes up and you've got to fight him. And mind you, I'm sure this big heartless is in like every freaking game. Don't be afraid. You're a big fella, aren't you? I always go for the left arm as well. No, not that one. Yeah. Hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Let's just ignore the small fry. Or oh, let's see if I can try and beat them as I'm hitting his freaking hand. I'm pretty sure this is the hand he uses to master. 
No, come back. Come back, you little bitch. Hi, bang, Tom. I know I could block it, but what's the point? Because they ain't gonna kill us. There we go, say. Done. <laughs> You hold the mightiest weapon of all. That's what he said. So don't forget. You are the one who will open the door. Just getting flashbacks to the novel in the manga. Oh, here we go. Destiny Island. Come on, sorry, you lazy bum. <laughs> Give me a break, Kyrie. So are you lazy bum? You lazy bum. I knew bum. that I'd find you snoozing down here. No, this huge black thing swallowed me up. I couldn't breathe, I couldn't... Ow! Are you still dreaming? It wasn't a dream. Or was it? I don't know. What was that place? So bizarre. Yes, yeah, sure. Along with any other worlds out there. I want to see them all. So what are we waiting for? Hey! Aren't you guys forgetting about me? Nope. So, I guess I'm the only one working on the raft. Uh. <laughs> and you're just as lazy Here we as we <laughs> So you know this. Okay, we'll finish it together. I'll race you. Huh? What? Are you kidding? <laughs> Ready? Go! the islands right what do you need Harry what do you need gather the rest of the supplies Sora you listen to me give us a chance here's what you need to do two logs one cloth one roll I think I know where all of this is from memory two cloths one log one roll two cloths one log one roll I'll just end up forgetting what it is I'm supposed to be getting. Oh, there's a log. That was easy. Oh, I'm sure there's something in here. I think it's a cloth. Yeah, there it is. There we go. I'm not gonna fight anyone. I can't be asked. Oh, there's the roll. So, what do I need to find again? Is it was was it two logs? One cloth, one roll. Where was the other log again? Other than the one I dropped this morning. Oh, it wasn't there. Maybe it's next to Riku. Oh yeah, there it is. So I got them all. Oh, this, do I have to fight Riku? Should I try it? Oh god, I'm gonna lose. Okay, whatever. Got it. Neither do you, you bitch. Yeah. Oh, move! Uh, I knew he'd just that. Move, 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 move. Oh, move, move, move. Oh, fuck, I can't. <laughs> Get him. Get him. No, move, move, move. <laughs> sorry, sorry. No, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, move, 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 move. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Oh, no, move, 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 move. Ah, I'm moving time. You little bitch! I'm still gonna lose. You still don't got it. Oh, shake your mouth. Move! I can't move fast, you know. The little shit. So, Kyrie's home is out there somewhere, right? Could be. We'll never know by staying here. But how far could a rat take us? Who knows? Oh, I miss Hayden Panettiere's Kyrie. Ah, it's Disney Castle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Come in, Elsa. Please, I know you're in there. He could have went for a shake. I don't know why he's reacting like that. Oh, hold you But don't tell anyone. Ooh. Oi, Mimi. Not even the queen. Daisy. No! It's top secret. Oh, good morning, ladies. <clears throat> mm hmm. Trying to remember the best way to run is you race Riku. I think. Yeah. What would you call it? Let's call it Caprice. In honor of March Caprice. There we go. Okay, well, yeah, this is where we're gonna race. Okay. I'm, I'm trying to remember the best way of doing it. Maybe it's jumping up there and then along and then. I'll figure it out. Do -do -do -do. I cannot let Riku win again. Oh god. Or maybe I, I can just jump down here. Run! Run, bitch! Run! Was this the quickest way? I don't know. Oh god, I accidentally stopped. I'm screwed. I cannot let Riku win again. Oh, uh, how do you jump again? Oh shit, in hell. I'm pressing X. I'm too used to other PlayStation games at the minute. There we go, bitch. Riku's right behind me. Uh. Oh shit, I can't get up there, can I? Oh shit, I can't get up there. Oh, Riku's won. <laughs> Excuse me? Why can't I get up there? <laughs> no, that's not fair. Oh, you little bitch. I didn't realize I couldn't jump. <laughs> it's so unfair. I don't care if I don't care share the fucking powerful fruit with fucking Kyrie. Oh! No! Oh, oh fuck's sake. Oh. You're probably thinking, like, Sora, what the hell were you doing? What the hell were you playing at? Right, seagull egg, three mushrooms, two coconuts, three fish. Oh my lord. Drinking water. Oh my god, there's so much to bring. I forgot most of it. I'm just gonna grab anything I can. Any of that was in there. I'm sharing a coconut by doing a bit of this. No, not humping the tree. Can you do that? Oh, is it? Oh, there we go. One. Oh. Has to be the light color. There we go. Two. Was it three I needed? Yeah. Pretty sure it was three, wasn't it? Yeah. Drinking water. Drinking water. I'm sure. Can you get drinking water from this little bit here? There we go. See. And then fish. I can get down here. How many fish do I need again? Three. Come on. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, bitch. Two. How many did I need again? Why have I got such a bad memory? There's one over there. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Three. Okay, I think. Three. What else did I need again? An A. Oh, single leg. A single leg. And I'm sure it's up there. No, I think I get up this pole. Don't I? Yep. And jump on it. Oh, you're joking me. Yay. We'll get it then. There we go. Is that all I needed? Was there something else? Oh, I needed three mushrooms, didn't I, as well? Did I need, like, loads of mushrooms? What's the missing? Two mushrooms. Oh, okay, I still need to find two mushrooms. Okay. <laughs> I don't even thought the mushrooms were up here. Oh, wait, oh, that, no, no. Yeah. Okay, I knew there was some up here. So that means there's one more mushrooms to collect. Oh, and maybe in this secret place, 
Because I'm sure there's a cutscene. Oh, there. I knew it. I knew it. Now he has the cutscene. Oh my god, my memory's amazing. Well, who's there? I've come to see the door to this world. Huh? This world has been connected, tied to the darkness. Soon to be completely eclipsed, there is so very much to learn. Mm -hmm. You understand so little. Oh yeah? Well, you'll see. I'm gonna get out and learn what's out there. Yes, yeah, sorry, you tell him. Effort. So what's really interesting, actually, is during this Destiny Islands part, it doesn't really have a whole lot because everything you do in Destiny Islands in the game is like collecting stuff for Kyrie for this raft. So things are like talked about in the novel, in the manga. Um, and even, I'm sure in the manga actually, I think it was, Kyrie was like, oh, did you get the, the stuff for the raft and stuff? So that's all fine and well. Um, in this whole scene as well, in the secret place, that happens in both. But you don't really spend a lot of time in Destiny Islands. And you, I guess you don't really in the game. You don't really get a whole lot on the other islanders. So I'll probably compare this and Travis Town as well, and how that turned out in the novel and the manga, and then the game. Sora, let's take the raft and go. Just the two of us. Huh? <laughs> Just kidding. What's gotten into you? You're the one that's changed, Kyrie. Maybe. I know I can always come back here. Right? Yeah, of course. That's good. Can't wait. Once we set sail, it'll be great. Not sure why, but the stars have been blinking out one by one, and that means disaster can't be far behind. I hate to leave you all, but I've got to go check into it. I've got to go check into it. There's someone with the key. The key to our survival. So I need you and Goofy to find him and stick with him. Okay, I tried it. Never done. Oh, we need that KO I doomed, so go to Travis down and find Leon. He'll point you in the right direction. That all happened in the novel and the game. In the novel and the manga. Yes, would you apologize for me, me? Thanks, pal! <laughs> How can you tell which one's which? It could be anyone's. So you can't actually do anything to them. Can't do anything to them until you get the keyblade. Where's Kyrie? I thought she was with you. The door is open. What? The door is open. All this Sarah. happens in the novel and the manga. Now we as can well. go to the outside world. It would have had to as well. This is too important. Kyrie. Kyrie's coming with us. I'm not afraid of the darkness. Hey, we got the keyblade. Now we can fight him. Come on! Ah, come on! Ha, come on! Come on, bitches! As they do, just keep coming and coming. Kyrie. Sora. He's back. You're back for another beating, are you? I'll oh, get the health. Get the health as well. Get the health. Give me, give me the health. Easily done again, man. You don't fuck with me. You don't fuck with me. I love Travis down so much. I love the way it's described in both the novel and the manga. Hey, you know, maybe we ought to go find Leon. 
Oh, I love this bit so much. I love the banner they have in the game as I love the banner that they have in the book and the manga as well. Although probably more so in the manga. More so in the manga. Should I save it? Okay, this is actually a bit of a terrifying bit, especially in the manga. And it's a woman in the manga as well. A woman that turns into a heartless. More of them. I see. I told you. Most of your time in Kingdom Hearts will be spent doing this. Every single room you go into. Yeah. Because we just keep missing Donald and Sora. I mean, Donald and Goofy. What the fuck? One of the cool things I love about the first Kingdom Hearts games is that the 99 puppies, like the Dalmatians, are scattered across the world, so you've got to like find them all. I love that. I wish there was more like really cool things like that in this series, because you don't really get really nice touches like that. I mean, you kind of do, there's like little things in the second and third one, but not like the Dalmatians. They'll come oh, at you out of nowhere. Who are you? This is David Boreanaz as well. And Angel. they'll keep on coming at you. As long as you tell. continue to wield right. the Keyblade. But why? Why would it choose a kid like you? Hey! What's that supposed to mean? Now, let's see that Keyblade. What? There's no way you're getting this! Alright. Then have it your way. Oh, no, what? Wow. I think in the manga, he literally does just knock Sora out straight away. And then he wakes up in the hotel. I went easy on him. Gorge, there's nobody here. Gorge, there's nobody here. Sure is spooky. Excuse me, did the king send you? Still, hard to believe that you, of all people, are the chosen one. Oh. Why don't you start making sense? What's going on here? That's right. The Keyblade. So, this is the key. Exactly. The Heartless have great fear of the Keyblade. That's why they'll keep coming after you, no matter what. Ooh. Gorge, are these the heartless guys? Let's go get them to And this is how they meet. Oh, the start of a beautiful friendship. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is this is a proper boss now. Heal me and so oh, I've got a portion. Oh, I almost got it. Almost got it, lads. Come on. 
Come on. There we go. You were looking for me? They too have been seeking the wielder of the Keyblade. Hey, why don't you come with us? We can go to other worlds on our vessel. I wonder if I could find Riku and Kairi. But you can't come along looking Oh, he has the face, but it's definitely funny in the manga. No problem. No shot friends. Okay? Yeah, you gotta look funny. Like us. <laughs> yep. Whoa. <laughs> happy faces. Happy. <laughs> 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 That's one funny face. Okay, why not? I'll go with you guys. Name's Goofy. I'm Sora. All for Wee. one, one for all. Oh, I love this bit as well. I'm never going to end. Heartless. Who'd have thought it? Such is the power of the Keyblade. The child's strength is not his own. Why don't we turn him into a Heartless? <laughs> That'll settle things quick enough. And the brat friends of the king's lackeys. Swung on the ice, they're all built rats by the look of them. You're no prize yourself. <laughs> Shut up! Enough! The Keyblade has chosen him. Will it be he who conquers the darkness? Or will the darkness swallow him? Either way, he could be quite useful. Ooh. Okay, that was me playing the first two worlds in Kingdom Hearts. And I mean, I would have, you know, got a lot more in depth if I had the time. And if I could have, you know, maybe leveled up a little bit more, I would have done that. I would have done a little bit more exploration. As it turns out, this vlog is literally just kind of Kingdom Hearts 1 based, which I don't mind because it is the 20th anniversary this month of this actual game. So, I mean, I would have loved to have been able to explore, you know, Chain of Memories more, Kingdom Hearts 2, Kingdom Hearts 3, so on and so forth, bit by step. I would love to have done all of them. But uh, I think focusing on the first Kingdom Hearts was actually the best course of action, even though I didn't think that was what I was gonna do to begin with in this vlog. Vlogs all over the place, but so is my life. So I hope if you are a Kingdom Hearts fan that you enjoyed. Please give this video a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to check out March Caprice. Again, I will leave all the links in the description box for you, including the playlist of all the videos that are premiering during March Caprice, which will be amazing. I'm so excited for the rest of it. And honestly, thank you so much to everyone who runs March Caprice for letting me be part of it this year. Honestly, thank you so much. But yeah, I hope that was okay. And don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave comments down below. Let me know your best Kingdom Hearts memory. I would love to know. And I will hopefully see you in the next video. Bye.